Today we have brought you a quick update on Tesla Model 3 and why air suspension that have resurfaced in the latest firmware update. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Despite claims by Tesla CEO Elon Musk that air suspension will remain an exclusive feature for the Model S and Model X, and eventually the Cybertruck, new images have been added to the latest firmware update that hint it might still be coming to the Model 3 and Model Y. The images were discovered by Tesla hacker, Green the Only, in the 2021.36 update that was deployed recently. According to Green, two new images show what appears to be an air suspension setup, depicted through the use of blue highlighted suspension lines on the right. Although there is no explicit reference to air suspension, this is the same way the feature is shown for the Model X. As with previous hints that have popped up over the years that the feature may be coming to the Model 3 and Y, this could mean nothing. In early 2020, the Model 3 parts catalog mysteriously received a new air suspension part. That clue was shot down soon after by Musk, saying at the time, no air suspension planned for Model 3 and Model Y. Just one month after that, another reference to the feature was spotted in the Model Y online training manual for collision repair centers. According to an image of the manual shared on Reddit that was later deleted, the electrical systems overview showed the Model Y's front controller as having a function of Tesla air suspension. With the number of clues and hints that have been discovered about the feature, it wouldn't be surprising to see it show up in the vehicles at some point in the future. Musk also said the Model Y was too small for bioweapon defense mode and the electric SUV now has the feature. Tesla's smart air suspension is an amazing feature. It's an amazing feature for some tough road conditions as the vehicle would automatically raise the suspension and give more clearance on the road. It's a great feature to have in a vehicle. Of course, it also lowers at higher speeds on the highway in order to increase aerodynamic performance, which increases efficiency and ultimately range. Those are all great upsides. As for downsides, the main one for an air suspension is that there are more failure points and it's more expensive to repair. With all the updates that Tesla has made to its air suspension, for Model S and Model X, it would make sense for the automaker to introduce it to the Model 3 and Y. However, it would reduce the differentiations between the Model 3 and Y with the higher-end Model S, but we don't think Tesla is too worried about that. But still at the end, there's no solid evidence of this coming to Model 3 and Model Y. But it would be a great addition if Tesla brings it to its affordable cars. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.